So this right here is my HD Connects ground station. I put it all on a Manfrotto tripod and uh, I hang everything on there, my DX9 radio, my Avagan glyphs, and I have uh, the RMRC 5100mm 3 cell LiPo, uh, enough power to last days of flying. And I have a little switch right here. It's like an on on off switch I bought from uh, Amazon, works really well. Um, and it, that switch goes up to this little DC to DC converter. It converts uh, up to 24 volts down to uh, between 3 volts to 12 volts. So there's a little uh, knob over there that you can turn clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust. It's a variable output voltage. Pretty neat. It comes in packs of 5 and uh, pretty cheap on Amazon. And that powers, once I toggle the switch uh, right here, that powers on both my uh, uh, HDMI cloner box, which I use to DVR uh, my flights, and it powers on the connects uh, RX as well at the same time so and also as you can see I have the screen for spectator view or for the judge to view and that screen so there's two there's a splitter I have on this side on the other side there's a little splitter which is pretty neat the cool thing about this splitter is it does not need any external power source it somehow powers itself with just the HDMI going in and then there's two uh, two outputs, one going to the monitor and the other one, I put uh, you know my, my Abagan glyphs to the other connector right there, and um, and yeah. Now the screen, I recently got this screen, I'm really loving it. It's not the best quality screen, but all I wanted a screen for was uh, uh, the person next to me to watch my flight, you know, if a judge wants to see it. And the way I've set it up is I have like a bicycle handlebar cell phone holder and it's magnetic so I have a magnetic pad there and it just goes on there so it can be removed and it's a telephone card style HDMI uh, right angle cable that goes in there so when I'm flying the judge can hold it in his hand you know he can be standing away from me and uh, watching my flight and it works pretty well and also a good thing about having a screen set up is you can now do all your menu setups um, you know changing frequency or focusing camera or whatnot uh, right on the screen without having to look through the goggles which is kind of a pain so that's my setup right there and as you guys know I fly the Seagan HD quad with the HP plus mode and what else am I missing that's about it. I mean, like, as you can see, I treat my ground station as a little uh, FPV coat hanger, if you will. I hang everything on there. These little twist tie thingies I brought, I bought at Home Depot, and, um, and there's also a spare one that I sometimes put my quad on there as well. So at events, when it's time for you to go to the flight line, you just carry this one thing, and everything's on there, and it's pretty low profile not not too much clutter going on and a good thing about having a little magnetic cell phone mount there I don't always fly with the screen on so I, I also put my cell phone on there um, and I use my cell phone to time myself when I'm using the TBS tracker and stuff like that so that right there is my HDMI setup oh on top here, of course, there's a, th a low profile SanDisk 64 gig thumb drive to record all my footage into. And then this little guy is a little mic. Brain Drain showed me this in Texas. There's actually a mic input for the uh, DVR. And what this does is it picks up, um, you know, ground chatter, you know, pilots talking, you know, goofy stuff. And sometimes, depending on how uh, small the track is it also picks up prop sound and makes for a good addition to your videos and this HDMI cable I'm using is from Monoprice and it's very low profile it's it's slim and it's just six inches long it's the smallest one we could find to keep the ground station 
you know, kind of tidy and not not full of clutter. So that's my ground station. If you have any questions, um, you know, mention them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks, guys.